So I just walked into Target and the um, right behind me here where you see all these lovely swimsuits, that's where the pride display used to be. And I came in here two days ago and my seven-year-old who's non-binary saw it and said, look. My seven-year-old who's non-binary. Time out. <laughs> you, time out. <laughs> oh, you don't see the coaches do this no more. Remember back in the, the 90s, they were, when they needed the time out, they'd be like, time out, man. <laughs> time out. You, you, you're what? That's what? <laughs> you're what? That's what? days ago and my seven-year-old who's non-binary you know what that's what and i came in here two days ago and my seven-year-old who's non-binary saw it and said look mom it's pride look they're gonna celebrate me and because look mom it's pride they're gonna celebrate me Listen, man. I know this. I know this sounds bad, man. And smash. But listen, I know this sounds bad, but I would throw this woman in a dungeon if I was king. If I was king of America, I would throw this woman into a dungeon. She would spend her last days in a dungeon, man. <laughs> and listen, man. It, I know it sounds strange. Like, damn, you would throw her in a dungeon. But if I told you that in 2019, if I told you that in 2008, if this woman said this in 2008 and I said, yeah, I would, if I was king, I would throw in a dungeon, you wouldn't look at me like I was crazy. Press one. If, I, if this woman said this in 2008 and my response was like, if I was king of America, I would throw in a dungeon. No one was, no one would look at me like I was crazy. Now it's like, ah, oh, come on. Man, if I if this woman's your non-binary seven-year-old, <laughs> I would take that kid and throw her in a dungeon. We what? Your 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 non what? You know who? What? What the fuck? Your non-binary twenty-seven-year-old? No, my non-binary seven-year-old. <laughs> what? Here we see all these lovely swimsuits. That's where the pride display used to be. And I came in here two days ago, and my seven-year-old, who's non-binary saw it and said look mom it's pride look they're gonna celebrate me and because some people complained and um threw some stuff to the ground or i don't know what happened they have moved to the pride section to the back of the store so the next time my seven-year-old comes to target or rather i can't bring them here anymore at least for the entire month of june because if they walk in and all the other people who walk in and go, where to go, are going to realize that they are being successful in trying to erase them. Yeah, you, if you can't shield your seven-year-old from that, man, we need to remove that kid from your home. You, you mean that when your kid comes to Target, your seven-year-old is going to be like, hey, where's the pride thing at, man? Uh this means that people are being successful at what? Why is your seven year old not playing like with toys or some shit or twirling around and skipping <laughs> and touching everything in the store? Why is your seven year old all caught up in this binary and gender stuff in Target? Most kids in Target. 
I like touching every goddamn thing and running around and bumping into people and shit. Her fucking kids in there fucking with the weight of the world on his fucking shoulders. You got this seven-year-old with all this fucking weight on his fucking shoulders. And I came in here two days ago and my seven-year-old, who's non-binary, saw it and said, look, mom, it's pride. Look, they're going to celebrate me. And because some people complained and um, threw some stuff to the ground or I don't know what happened, they have moved to the pride section to the back of the store. So the next time my seven-year-old comes to Target, or rather I can't bring them here anymore, at least for the entire month of June, because if they walk in and all the other people who walk in and go, where'd it go? Are gonna realize that they are being successful in trying to erase them. We could do so much better than this. We're not supposed to negotiate with the terrorists.